everyone, the objectives of this video are to firstly compare the different types of point defects. We're then going to learn the formula for the defect concentration and we're going to do an example question to finish. Okay, so firstly, just to have a, more of a look into point defects, so we talked a bit about the different kinds in the previous videos, and it's just important to note that vacancies are more common than self-interstitial defects, as the energy required for an interstitial defect to occur is far larger than the energy required for a vacancy to occur. So let's just even have a look at these pictures here of a vacancy and an interstitial impurity. So when you have a vacancy, you can see that a, a bit of a... Um, distortion in the plane happens. So we've got a distortion this way, this way, this way, as there's been a vacancy left. Whereas an interstitial impurity, there's also distortion in the plane, so that is more of an outward distortion though. Okay, so let's just have a think about the kind of energy required for a vacancy to occur as opposed to an interstitial impurity to occur. Well, the energy required for a vacancy is just the amount of energy required for the atom that was here to escape. Whereas for an interstitial impurity, the energy for a new element to enter and to make its way through the plane and to land up into a interstitial spot here takes far greater energy as it's a new element moving through the plane. So vacancies are far more common than interstitial. So that's self-interstitial or a normal interstitial impurity. Okay, so let's have a look at defect concentration. So pretty much the